All right, everyone, so here's the deal. Um, it's Saturday, and I'm bored as hell, and I'm kind of pissed off, and here's why. There's a couple of reasons. First of all, I watched uh, the final episode of The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, and uh, I'm pretty fucking pissed off of what those shit fucking cum guzzling NBC executives did to him, because I think he's funnier than any of the late night hosts. But anyway, fresh off of that, I went ahead and ordered Domino's Pizza last night, which was supposed to be like new and improved. It's like this big ad campaign they're doing saying, oh, it's so much better. We've improved everything because we know our pizza sucked balls. Well, guess what? Their pizza still sucks balls. It's just disgusting. So I said, how am I going to fucking get my spirits up? And I said, you know what I'm going to do? Mass Effect 2 comes out on this Tuesday. I'm so fucking pumped for it. I beat the first game you know, four times, and then another half game, I'm going to try to beat it again. So, and I've never done a playthrough on YouTube of Mass Effect 1, so this is going to be pretty cool. However, I want you to keep in mind a couple things. First of all, I haven't played this game, as you can see, since 2007, or actually 2008, early 2008. So it's been two years since I played it. I really don't remember anything, you know, about the plot. I'm sure it'll come back to me, but I might end up wandering around a little bit trying to figure out what to do with parts. But in addition to that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new, new Game Plus, so that way hopefully I can get through the game, you know, relatively quickly without getting butt-raped by everything because uh, <clears throat> I really don't want to take too long playing this since Mass Effect 2 does come out on Tuesday. So I'm dedicating this playthrough to Conan O'Brien, and hopefully that in September when his contract, uh, you know, with NBC is over, he can go ahead and start a new show and it ends up being better than the bullshit that they had on there anyway. But uh, let's start this shit up. Now, as you can see, these are my four game completions from the first time that I played Mass Effect uh, Mass Effect 1 and this is the first one I beat it at level 45 the level cap is 60 by the way and then I beat it again at level 56 and then I beat it again at level 59 I said well what the fuck I have to hit level 60 it's an achievement so I played it through one more time and obviously I capped it at level 60 and then I even started a fifth one uh, after that to do with some of the DLCs but anyway let's do this obviously all my stats are gonna be fucking maxed out I even use the game exploit in this one so that I have maximum uh, persuasion on both the good and the bad conversation sides. So I'm going to be fucking badass in this game. Well, what about Shepard? Oh. He grew up in the colonies. He knows go. how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Midwalk. Oh shit, it's Goliath! He got most of his unit killed on Torfa. He gets the job done, no matter what the cost. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? Yes. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Look at his healthy I head, lights before. free. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. And then I couldn't read the last line, you cocksuckers. What the fuck? <laughs> I read it as fast as I possibly could, and I still couldn't read the whole fucking thing. You dicks. Hey, look, it's the Milky Way. Here I go, with my badass armor. Starting over with all the sickest weapons. Haha, uh -huh, I nod at you. Captain Flaw, start date 2435. For some reason, my toilet wouldn't flush this morning. What a bitch. That's way too loud, hold on. Fucking music, like, erupted out of nowhere mad loud. There he is, that's not John Shepard, that's Phil Shepard. <laughs> Oh shit, Check. it's Seth Green. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. 
Just under 1,500K. Don't you have another episode of Robot Chicken to make? 1,500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Uh-huh. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Wah, wah, wah. I'm paranoid. Already Seth Dude, Green's paranoid. bitching. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree, you're overreacting or cut the chatter. Cut the chatter! That's enough. Shut up. You're soldiers, act like it. That's right, bitch. Sorry, Commander. Joker, <laughs> status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Just Stealth defeated system. Batman! Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Ah, idiot. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. What a dumbass. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? <laughs> Only when he's talking to you, Joker. It's because you're an asshole. <laughs> I'm wondering what the it's if it's gonna be too dark in this playthrough or what. It depends. There's a lot of contrast and brightness and darkness in this game. See, like you can barely see Shepard's face. So I don't know what to do if I should like fart with the settings. Uh, options. Let's see. Menus look fine. Graphics. Boop 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 boop. Intermediate setting. What the hell does that mean? Default. Cinematic image higher contrast. Brighter image lower contrast. Softer image medium contrast. How about brighter image, lower contrast? Let's try that. Motion blur. Yeah, I want motion blur. Film grain. Yeah, let's put the film grain. Let's see what this looks like now. Looks like shit. That film grain's horrible. Oh my god. I remember now. I remember when I was playing it, and by default, it had all that, and it looked horrible. All right, I'm taking that shit off. <laughs> Why did they put that in the game? Let's make film grain so the entire thing looks like you're looking through a bad TV set. Yeah, let's turn it all off. We don't need that bullshit. Now let's see what it looks like without all the fancy filters. And it still looks too bright. I don't like the setting. It looks like it's maybe way too bright. Uh, and I'm sorry guys for having to do this, but as you know, this is going to look a lot better you know, doing this. What? The fuck is it talking? What? It didn't even do it. Default setting. There we go. Save selection. So, you know, sorry I have to fuck around, but if the playthrough looks better, it's worth it. So let's see what it looks like now. Dark, but everything's bright. Let's go with this one for now. Actually, if you take a look, your shepherd's face looks a lot better now, doesn't it? Looks like it has more detail. All right. Do, 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 do. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. Do, do, We're getting do, do, do. Hey, it's Navigator Presley. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. Stone Cold Steve Austin's dad. To see the captain? He wants to see me? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir. Maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Hmm. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Interesting. Add up. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. See, I'll do some conversation. I'm not necessarily going to do all of them, since again, like I said, I do need to beat this game before Tuesday. But the good thing is, I have all night tonight, I have all day tomorrow, I have a lot of time to play it, and I I took the day off for uh, Scorpel Jenkins. Look at this guy. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members <laughs> in the infirmary. I really like the voice work in this game. That's why the conversations are so fun. 